Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Control 2. We are uh, currently leaving Alpha Tari where everyone's chasing us because you know reasons. And we're going to see if we can visit Procyon now that we've maybe told them to leave. Not really sure how that works. See the Illrath are moving, so that's that's good, I suppose. They're going to go deal with... I don't really want them to kill all the Third Ash. I suppose I should go um, meet with the Third Ash or something like that before they get killed or something. Because that would be bad. I don't really want them to get killed. But uh, first, we're going to check out Procyon because hopefully we've moved all the Philrath away from here. Which would be really nice. Oh, apparently they're still here. Question is, are they around the planet? Because if they're not around the planet, then that's great. No, 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 not, 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 not today, not today, not today, not today, not today, not today, not today. There we go. Um, what's this Sapphire World? That's cool. But uh. Um. Zero, zero, zero ATM? Really? There's nothing for me to do here? Yes, report from orbit. We have explored the interior of the Sargis and found a demand. Okay, we already saw all this. Yep. Okay. Billions and billions of... Is the Earth moving? The Pekanka moving? Hmm... Nothing... Hello! Yes. Echo! I uh -huh. am the master of the universe! Oh! <laughs> hey, Captain! <laughs> I didn't notice you on the viewer there. I was just, you know, entertaining myself in this lonesome, cold container. Uh -huh. How may I be of service to you? Uh... I am saving my meager pa Sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. So you might have other things to say, but... Uh... <laughs> yes, you are the master of the universe. Nothing here is anything. of darkness and pain call to us again. Mm -hmm. Evil Dogar, cruel Kazan. Go How away. can we be so fortunate to hear from you again? <laughs> we pray the gods forgive us for not yet beginning the slaying of the Thradash. Quickly now, I must rend three limbs of my thorax as a sign of my supplication. <laughs> <laughs> it is done. Dogar and Kazan see my fluids and must smile. I am happy. We make all haste, but are limited by the speed of our Avenger Starcraft. We know our pitiful excuses are worthless. We must show our shame with the removal of yet more limbs. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Okay. Uh, you're still chasing me. I was supposed to make you stop chasing me. Ah. <sighs> Be gone, humans. We would very much like to tear off all your digits mm. and be entertained fitting them into your orifices. I, that sounds great. But we are no. on an evil jihad and cannot be bothered killing you at this time. Oh. Perhaps later. Seriously? You're gonna leave me alone? Sweet. Cool. Now, give me...
Why can I now? This guy. That's it. You. Oh, it's you. I was sleeping. What do you want? Uh huh. I suppose you told your crew about my little listening in on him, didn't you? Now, whenever I try to eavesdrop. They seem to detect my presence and start visualizing my gruesome death. Multitude of soldiers. So great. Wait, you had to go and spoil my fun, didn't you? I'm having lots of fun. Um. I consider such a quest and city of honor. Okay. That's that's good. All right. Goodbye, human. Go. Oh. Okay, that wasn't. Okay, I didn't realize. We are the Kenjasu. Hey guys, I found you! Yes! Hi! We do not understand how you have penetrated the slave shield or why, but in doing so, you have interrupted the process. Explain this intrusion. Hey guys! Uh. Um. Hi! We cannot be of any assistance now. We are in the middle of the process. I will explain. Sure. After we, Chen Jesu, and Bert Herm were defeated by the Urquan, we chose to be encased in a single slave shield on this world. Yes, yes. As soon as the Urquan departed, we began the process. We initiated a synthesis of our two species, our two cultures, one crystalline, the other purely mechanical. This process, fueled only by the radiant energy of our sun, uh -huh. will eventually produce a new hybrid race. And when the process is complete, we will crack the Urquan slave shield and emerge from our chrysalis like a winged insect. Sweet. Sweet! Cool! Room. Awesome! Then we will be ready and capable to deal with the Urquan, their battle thralls, and their dreaded Samatra. Uh, Samatra, I... Sam... Uh... Uh... The complete synthetic hybridization of the Chen Jesu and the Murnhorn species will require approximately 35 of your Earth years. Whoa, that's way too long. This extended duration is necessary uh. because our synthesis mechanisms are dependent exclusively on the light of our sun for energy. Wait a second. What you describe is Theoretically possible, I have a I have a sun device pose a great danger to us The process must be executed as planned or it may fail catastrophically We would be destroyed Um. Though your ship's design is unfamiliar to us uh -huh. We now understand that you are of human origin and so we will share with you our reasons for accepting the sure. status of Urquan Slave. In 2135, our great uh -huh. alliance it's burned about, within the crucible no. of sentience. Though our fleets of armed starships held back the hierarchy's grotesque armada for many years, in the end, the Urquan unleashed a power upon us that was so overwhelming. We knew we would be annihilated if we did not submit. You guys this really need to stop talking power, like this. This ultimate <laughs> weapon was a huge starship, an unstoppable <laughs> battle platform built by the precursors in the ancient past. Okay. Your vessel shares some similarities in design to the Urquan's battle platform, which they call Samatra, meaning Great Trophy. The Sumatra mm -hmm. was many times larger than your ship and bore weapons and defensive systems that made it invulnerable to all of our technologies. It remains a mystery to us 
why the Urquan fought us for so long without using the Sumatra. But when they finally brought the ship into combat, the Sumatra incinerated our finest brood home vessels from ten times our own ship's weapon range. Okay. We had no choices beyond submission or devastation. Before the Urquan arrived to accept our surrender, we sent one last message to your people. Mm -hmm. A message suggesting that your species do as we Chanjesu and Murnherm plan to do. We would accept the Urquan's demands and become slaves until such a time as we found a way to destroy or neutralize the Samatra. I, I, okay. Our wisdom is available. Sure. Detail your need. I want exposition. You must find some way to destroy the Samatra. Okay. To do this, you will need a powerful weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. But that is not all. You will also require some way to distract the Urquan to give you the opportunity to use the weapon. Uh... We do not recognize this device, but it <laughs> appears Borrowed. to be a precursor tool which can radiate a great amount of energy. Alright. We know the Dinyari only from legend, where they are described as the embodiment of evil and cruelty. <laughs> if ever there was a devil, Captain, it was the Dinyari. However, if in fact the creature you possess is one of this ancient breed, its mental power may be useful to help confuse the Urquan. Okay, so... Though your presence here is a painful intrusion, we will always provide advice whenever you request it, Captain. Goodbye, once and future ally, human. <laughs> when the process is complete and we emerge from our chrysalis, I shall tell your grandchildren of our conversation this day. I'm not done yet, Mr. Chenjesu Munaherm, guys. I have a thing. Ow! We are free. You have flooded our synthesis mechanisms with a wealth of radiant energy. What was supposed to take decades has been accomplished in seconds. The process is incomplete, yet we have emerged. We are the Chur. Hi! Why have you interrupted the process? Uh... You told me to, sort of. I mean... <laughs> Your need must be great for you to have risked so much just to bring us from beneath the shield. We were not ready, but this is now in the past. What is done is done. You are intent uh -huh. on stopping the Urquan. Yes. Very well. We are prepared to assist you in whatever way we can. We must first tell you that even before we were placed under the slave shield, uh -huh. we realized that the only way to truly defeat the Urquan Kill the Sumatra, was right? to first destroy their precursor battle platform, the Sumatra. This vessel was responsible for the victory of the hierarchy over the Alliance. Mm -hmm. When it was brought to bear against our worlds, we could not resist it. This must be your priority. This must be your eventual goal. I think we found we a know what is necessary to achieve this end. Okay. But first, we must know what you have already learned. So we will scan the data banks and logs aboard your ship. There. Uh, the we're process just done. is complete. Uh-huh. Now we can discuss what you must do. Please. You need to locate the Urquan's Sumatra vessel. Uh-huh. If you cannot find it yourself, 
ask those others who are near the Urquan. Perhaps they will know. We uh, have detected the presence of the been there more more. aboard your ship. Yes, yes, we talked about Though this. Though the being is darkly evil and incredibly dangerous, the Talo device you possess has effectively nullified the creature's power over you. However, it will do a most excellent job distracting the Urquan long enough for you to approach the Sumatra and destroy it. Okay. To defeat the Urquan, you must first destroy the Sumatra battle platform. Okay. The only way we can envision this occurring is for you to detonate a huge explosive device adjacent to the battle platform at point blank range. Okay. We believe that the only weapon which can generate sufficient destructive force is a matter antimatter bomb, but we cannot build one ourselves. Why not? Return when you have gathered the resources we have described. Well, the... Um... There sure. are rumors of such a device, a precursor planetary tool... Fantastic. ...to be found somewhere far towards the core, in the possession of a non-hostile alien race. We cannot provide any more information at this time. Towards the core, okay. Uh. We will provide you with the designs for a new class of fighting ship, the Avatar. Fantastic! with enough shimmer to command however many vessels you may build. Sweet! Avatar battleships are much more effective than our brood home or x form vessels. In competent hands, these ships can defeat any ship in space. Fantastic! Uh, anything else? We cannot help you until you have gathered mm. the necessary resources. Oh, well, well. We await your return. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, let's dodge the... Okay. Well, we visited everyone except... Well, the Third Ash may have something still. According to the Pekunk, but the Third Ash didn't seem to have anything. Um, but... I don't really know what core word is. And there is that one corner of the map, way over here, that we haven't really explored too much. Um, stopped by there once and didn't find anything, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Need to find the Sumatra. Which the Pekunk said the constellation shaped like a cup is the something or other. Uh, maybe the people near, I mean, that'd be Mycon, Zotfot, the uh, Cyrene. Hard to know, hard to tell. Let's, let's for now head back to Earth. I feel like visiting the Third Ash. Need to find giant. Hmm. Let's see. North, east. Maybe we. Hmm. Let's hit the quality portal spawner. And uh, see if we can visit Draconis near Persite. No, Grus. No, Linsis. No, Trangulite. No, Mensis. No, Arcturus. No, Draconis. Maybe, 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 maybe. It's interesting that my music seems to be cutting out oddly during hyperspace, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, um, the Thredashians. 
Head over there. The dash, the dash, the dash, the dash. And this is in this up I don't know. I don't know. You can always also ask the Milner May. They, 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 and we, we have we have tons of money right now because of the Umga giving us, you know, a thousand. I, I think they gave us like a thousand credits. Or what was it? Like, like, like I have a lot. I have 683 biological data. Um, not interesting. We can go and visit. Um, we can also visit their home world. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't see him. I'm way too lazy to. Tell the Draconis I'm pretty sure is the home world if I'm currently. Let's talk to them before they all get killed. Ooh. Uh. Hey guys. Anything interesting? This doesn't really count them, but more than the boy. Uh huh. The long range scouting team was sent to explore the planet. They don't. They're well. Uh, that was not helpful. I already heard all that before. Maybe your home world has more interesting information, because sometimes it does. E -A 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 yes, 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 yes. This doesn't really a long range farewell. You have nothing, nothing at all. Okay. Well, let's see if the Melnor may have anything interesting to say. Didn't, like get any, you know, ships from them or anything. You know, I, I don't know if we're allies or yet or not or anything like that. There you are. You, yeah, you. Get over here. Give me all your exposition. I must warn you, Captain. Uh huh. What? This is the time of the month we Melnorme drive exceptionally hard at bargains. Beware. Now. Nah. What can we do for you today? Okay, well, I mean, uh, trade sell. Data. Fantastic. Whoa, I have a lot of money. Info. Um. In the Dinyare's new empire, the Urquan was a favored slave. I want to know about this some sort of precursor planetarian tool. So. For the most psychically sensitive, the most easily compelled. Uh -huh. As the centuries of Dinyari dominance passed, what was once the sentient milieu deteriorated and degenerated into a great galactic gulag. Uh -huh. Alien races which did not serve with the efficiency and speed demanded by the Dinyari were ruthlessly burned from the faces of their worlds. The agents of this genocide were inevitably the Dinyari's favorite pet, the Urquan. After almost 2,500 years of unrelenting Dinyari control, there were only four living member races of the once great sentient milieu. Mm. By this point, the Dinyari had used genetic manipulation to split the Urquan into two subspecies. Mm. The green Urquan. Because they're exhausted. Why? Technicians I and administrators who were responsible for I want to know about precursor bombs. The limited infrastructure blarg, blarg, blarg. of the Dinyari civilization and the Black Urquan, who filled the ranks of basic laborer and combat 
soldier. Then, a chance discovery by an Iroquois named Kazerza led to the violent overthrow of the Dinyare slave empire. Oh, fantastic. Um... The Iroquois named Kazerza was a green a researcher specializing in repairing the mental damage inflicted by long-term exposure to the Dinyare's psychic compulsion. Interesting. By this point in history, the Dinyare had grown lax in their dominance Oopsies. and, on occasion, accidentally permitted their slaves moments of self-direction. Kazetza was able to use those few scattered minutes to compose a theory. From its observations, Kazetza realized that when a slave died, Dinare disconnected from the slave's mind, lest it too be dragged down to death. First, I don't see how it's useful the Iroquois to me, but... scientist uncovered the fact that when a slave underwent great pain, the Dinyare temporarily disconnected. But that the degree of pain had to be extreme, merely lethal. Kazerza chose its moment carefully. It waited until it was near an open transmission unit. Then, in a short moment of mental freedom, the Urquan injected itself with a dose of acidic poison, Ow. sending incredible waves of pain through its long body. Ow. In the Ew. few moments before its death, those are Kazon would like to hear this. Was able to wrest control of the transmitter to send word of its discovery across the planet and into space as well. Before the Dinyare knew what was happening, Urquan everywhere were hacking at their own bodies with chunks of glass, burning themselves horribly, doing anything that would give them the few seconds of freedom necessary to find the nearest Dinyare and crush the breathing creature. <laughs> As they gained longer and longer periods of control, the Urquan developed new tools and weapons to destroy their evil masters. The most so beautiful of these devices was the The Quora talked about the a mechanism whatever. which was inserted directly into the brain and generated a constant stream oh, of fantastic. agony. The Dinyari could not bring themselves to make the necessary mental connection with these tortured Urquan. They were slaughtered by the thousands. Wow. The Urquan slave wow. revolt was one. Okay, uh, anything else? When the last Urquan was free of psychic compulsion when the last free Dinyare was dead. Uh -huh. The combined might of the Urquan star fleets met in orbit above the Dinyare homeworld. They had come together to make two important decisions. Uh -huh. First, how to punish the few frightened Dinyare left below on the planet's surface. Second, how to ensure that never again would the Urquan be made slaves. The first decision was made swiftly. The Dinyari would not be allowed to die. Ah, that was too kind of fate. Instead, the creatures would be genetically modified. Mm. Oh, and due to the talking pants. Oh, nice. Become dumb animals. These Low creatures would be further debased by serving the Urquan for all eternity in the most demeaning way the Urquan could imagine, acting as translators, making physical contact with other species. 
whom the Iroquois now considered grossly inferior to themselves and revolting. Hmm. The second decision, how to ensure their freedom permanently, caused great turmoil. Yeah, I bet they, they two Following fleets went the to war and fought over people, your home world. The Iroquois met to decide how to ensure their freedom. Mm -hmm. The green Urquan, who called themselves the Kazertzah in honor of the Urquan who triggered the revolt, wished to establish the path of now and forever, which required that all other sentient species must become slaves of the Urquan or be forever imprisoned beneath an impenetrable force shield. Leading the opposition to this plan was Kora, a charismatic fleet officer. Kora proposed a simpler alternative: the eternal kill everything doctrine. from orbit Simple. with nukes. This scheme called for the systematic eradication of all sentient life in the universe, aside from the Iroquois. Of course, the captain. If these positions seem to you extreme or unwarranted, you must remember that the Earth One had been unwilling slaves for millennia, and that each of them had to remain in agony for years in order to defeat the Dinyane. Mm. The followers of Kazetza and Kora were all on the brink of madness. But neither side would submit, and so they fought a bloody civil war. Did you have any, like, they didn't like... This is the last historical item we have for sale. Sure. The civil war between the green like, Urquhart... They're not better now? The followers like, of come on. Zha, ...and their opponents, the death-dealing Kora, lasted for decades. I'm sure it did. It is likely that they would have annihilated each other. Were it not for a chance discovery by Kazertsa, a precursor battleship. Oh, hey! The vessel what do you know? It's the Sumatra. Many times the size of the Urquan's vessels. Mm -hmm. The precursor ship sliced through the Kora forces in days. The Kora were defeated. Interesting. However, oh, very interesting. In their victory, the Kazertsa were humble. They realized that there was. A chance that they were wrong, and the Kora were right. Instead of destroying the Kora, the Kazerza let them go, directing them to make mm -hmm. their way through the stars, traveling against the spin of the galaxy. The Kazerza okay. would travel in the opposite direction, and when the two Urquan forces met, they would fight again in ritual combat, with the precursor battleship given to the winner. Great trophy! Captain, this is happening here and now. The Kazetsa, the Urquan who enslaved mm -hmm. her, are fighting their ritual battle against the Kora in a large area centered near the Craterous constellation. You know. If the Kora win this battle, Captain, the Kazertsa will stand aside and let them kill us all. We believe it is your destiny to prevent this from happening. Well, gee, thank you. Um. Okay, uh, what about alien races? The yes, are they're cute. A friendly co op of three alien species all made into the same world. They are presently suffering severe collateral damage from the ritual combat between the Urquan mm -hmm. and the Kora. Mm -hmm. While this is unfortunate for the Zakfaktik, they have been forced to abandon many of their worlds. This close proximity to the inter-Urquan war will give them insights into the conflict. Okay. Which will be of great use to you. In addition, the Zafatik mm -hmm. 
Oh, wait. Ah, no, wait. In the cave, protect them from their enemy vision. The Zakfot pick met the Chen Jesu early on in the war and are eager to make allies who can protect them from their enemies. I bet. Yeah, in we can do this. You are interested. The Zakfot yeah, we, we visit the. They're awesome. Is at coordinates 400.0 by 543.7. Planet one. Okay, well, um, clearly I have more things to go through here, but I, well, apparently you decided to not to say anything more, um, I, I, what else? I need to take a break. It has been from from talking to you so i'm going to leave save the game and continue on in the next episode so thank you all for watching and more exposition in the next one i suppose oh boy okay yep. talk to y'all later